<laughs> All right, check in, man. It's Leaks of the Week time, yeah. and it's been a big, crazy week for us. Yeah, it and, has. Yeah, hip hop in general, man. Absolutely. Jake Cruz is here. Yeah. AKA Mariah Perry. <laughs> Mariah Perry. 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 Perry Mason. AKA. <laughs> Wait, no, is there that being somebody really? Perry, Perry Mason, Mason. I think there is. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, you're AKA. Nah. Uh, Perry Christmas. Bro, Perry Christmas. Perry my G. Christmas. My G. <laughs> Oh man, let's what have some doing? fun, man. It's what do you been, got, Just? I I don't even know where to begin this week. I know, no. right? So much stuff has happened in the last week. Yeah. Shout out to everyone who came out to Cali Christmas. It oh. was an amazing show. Movie. Uh, with with a, with a ton of great acts out there, man. Um, all those videos are up right now on Power106.com. Yeah. Uh, last week we got a we got a leak of a. Uh, of J. Cole's album. Yes. 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Yes. And and it's finally out. What's so funny? I'm thinking about the Perry the Christmas Perry, and all that shit. Is there We're more? We're going to be talking about that shit all night. Perry Dorian. Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me think of some more, dog. There's more. Uh, oh, Perry King. <laughs> Perry King. <laughs> Fucking... Oh, happy birthday to Perry Bird. Perry Bird. Perry Bird G. celebrated a That's birthday. Right. That's right. Perry King. Perry King. Jim Perry, <laughs> Jim Perry, Jim Perry, Jim Perry's got a new movie out, Dumb and Dumber too. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. Shout out to the pair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's get to the new music. What's up, Just? Um, yeah. So I feel like y- you know it's all about 2014 Forest Hills Drive mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. I've had a chance to really sit with the album and listen to every single song, and uh, it's just a press play vibe album. You know, it's mm-hmm. a great third offering from j cole mm-hmm. fifth or sixth if you count the mixtapes but um just really proud of this dude man had a chance to catch up with him around cali christmas time and seeing how excited he was about the material yeah you were playing his album in the club with him there dog it was an amazing experience. was that was that supposed to happen no no it wasn't he came up to the club he just came to the club yeah man shout to boss uh-huh. shout to the whole dreamville team man they were in there and you know cole was in town for cali christmas so you're on the turntables so you yeah. get word he's on his way or you get no word i didn't he's even get, i just I, I seen some of the dreamville cats yeah and then next thing you know i see dude walk in with a gray hoodie and i'm like there goes cole right there he goes Crazy. right to the corner and he's just chilling out and vibing and the whole time i'm like should i play any songs off the album i'm right, like questioning right. it and we just we just went for it. We just went for it. Started playing cuts off the album. It turned into an album listening session, though. Amazing. And I know it was probably, you know, one of the first times he's heard his music in a club like that. Right. This right. album. And it's not necessarily club music. No, it wasn't. It was just it was just a good vibe. And watching how excited he was about it. Right. It got me more and more excited. So uh, I want to talk about some songs off of the album. Um, you know, the whole album is, is is amazing. And if you don't have it, it's on iTunes and in stores right now. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but I wanted to pick two songs that stood out the most to me. Uh, one where I was really, you know, impacted by what Cole was saying. Yeah. I thought, uh, I think he he grew so much lyrically on this album. Uh, that's the Love Yours song. Uh-huh. The Love Yours song is my first leak of the week from J. Cole. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I'd be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying. So tell me, mama, please, why you be drinking all the time? Does all the pain he brought you still linger in your mind? Yeah, I mean, you know, in the in the song he's saying, uh, no such thing as a life better than yours. I think that's like so important for the kids to hear out there right now. Uh, yeah. So many people, you know, going through their ups and downs in life. I thought Cole's message on that was extremely strong. Yeah, we we uh, we tend to focus on other people's lives as well Especially, because of social media. Yeah, on social media. Yeah, you're but you got to remember, you know, you're you're important too, and man. your life is great. That's Absolutely. why uh, that love yours is important to me. And uh, you know, he said he said a line in there too that said, "There's beauty in the struggle." Yeah, and I thought that was dope too because sure we is. talk to people all the time, students and stuff, when we go yeah. to schools and yeah, listeners there, yeah. and listeners who are like, you know, they're just trying to get it right man whether it's through school or <sighs> they're following their their musical dreams or their whatever parents don't understand their peers don't understand yeah. their friends you know whatever, whatever family they don't understand necessarily their your dreams their dreams i thought that was dope for cole to say that man that was another line that stood out to me so that's my leak number one yeah uh leak number two uh th- th- these kids right here they they're three for three now to me ray shrimmered man yeah i mean they came with no flex zone uh-huh. then they dropped the anthem no type and now they've got my leak number three Right here, uh, which is just, I think this thing's going to heat up both the lifts off. Crazy. It's going to heat up the club. It's called Throw Some Mo with yeah. Nicki Minaj and Young Thug. Bye, bye, hate em. I flood the club with paper. Shout 
Shorty got an ass, some for now, some for later Something like Nikki's, dancing like Malaya How I'm throwing all this money, I'ma fuck around and buy it I can flick the money all night till my wrist tired If you put in work, this the night you gon' retire yeah, so that, that that's that turn up right there. Woo! Throw some mo, man. Uh, the album is available January 6th, and you can pre-order their album right now on iTunes. So uh, I suggest you do it, because I had a chance to yeah. hear it, and uh, it, it's just filled with them things, man. Mm-hmm. Filled with them things. And uh, also, too, uh, another, another quick leak that's not not quite out yet. Or I, 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 saw, I saw somewhere online that it kind of got out there, but... You know, Nicki Minaj is on that joint, and her album Pink Print is coming. Yep. And she's got a song with Meek Mill called Big Daddy that is out of here, my That's crazy, G. yeah. Yeah, I don't want to talk too much about it. I'll let y'all hear it, uh, but it definitely will be le- on the leaks of the week, you know, when the time is right. Yeah. Um, all right, leak number three. Let's take it back to the Cole album, man, because I just think that's what everyone's talking about. It's 2014, yeah. Forest Hills Drive. Uh, I already played a song that stood out to me the most when it came to, like, being impactful, and, and I loved Cole's story, and I thought yeah. it was really uh, motivational. But now let's take it to the bars, man, and I'm talking Fire Squad. I mean, he comes out, first line out the gate, he says, ain't no way around it no more, I am the greatest, all right? He's coming for the crown. In fact, he snatches the crown on yeah. the song. Yeah, yeah, he's saying, I have it now. It's mine now. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought I thought this was an extremely important song off of the album, and it's my leak number three. Ain't no way around it no more, I am the greatest. Lot of niggas set on the throne, I am the latest, I am the bravest. Go toe to toe with the giants, I ain't afraid of you niggas I'll end up fading you niggas, for it's all said and done This nigga need better sun, my Uzi it weighed a ton I need me a better gun, in fact I just might need two Cause niggas say they the one, and I got something to prove Forgive me Lord, here they come, blah That song also delivered most most likely to me the most shocking line on the album and that was the line where he said uh, something about you know Elvis oh, Elvis yeah. Presley That's right. That's and how right. white people have snatched the sound yeah. he said yeah. same thing that Elvis did to rock and roll Justin Timberlake Eminem and Mac Lamo. That line was so potent to me. I was like, "Woo!" Yeah, yeah. There he is. I mean, they've been saying that um, about Elvis for a long, for a long time. time. You were telling me and that. Then, yeah, and then he just connected it to who is it's doing it now. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's, God, man, that's a vicious line. It, it, it was a, a strong line. line. It was yeah. a strong line, but it's what I think the album needed. Absolutely. And I think it yes. was like... You know, it was edgy, and I liked it coming from Cole. And the line after that, he said something about, you know, how he's going to sit back and watch the award show this year and see uh, Iggy win a Grammy, and he'll just, you know, kind of smirk it off. Something to that effect. But uh, it was crazy because then a few days after that, Mm -hmm. the the Grammy nominations were released, and and, and, uh, Iggy's one of the best rap album, which, I mean, she did crazy numbers this year. Mm -hmm. She had a bunch of songs that we played on Power 106 and the Liftoff. Absolutely, yeah. I personally personally thought her album would fall into a pop category yeah um so i know that's gonna be some shock value there and that'll be a lot of the talk yeah um and, and, and who I, knows and i mean people were upset that yg wasn't nominated which, i was upset which, we were yeah, upset which, yeah that looks crazy it's like uh, yeah i thought yg why would you ignore that why would you ignore that it was released on a major label that's right it did he did great. great numbers as a body of work for his first project, yeah. uh, first album. I mean, it was it was so strong. I definitely think he deserved a Grammy yeah. nomination. I definitely do, man. The way that whole album was put together, uh, from the skits to to track for track, it right. was just a pl- press play album. And you know, I know I know it gets frustrating. I know I know uh, him and Mustard threw out some things uh, on Twitter and Instagram right. and everything, and I get it. But them dudes have a huge future ahead of them. They recreated. I don't want to say actually they. Created Created a sound. They created the sound of 2014, in my Absolutely, opinion. Yeah. Uh, both on the club and the radio. And um, you know, them dudes. It's, it's just it's just the beginning for them. Kids, they're gonna man. be okay. They're, they're gonna be strong. And yeah. them Grammys uh, are gonna be lining up on on the wall right above right. the fly, fireplace, my G's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So congratulations to both Mustard and YG on an amazing year. That's right. Do we wish they were in the Grammy of nominations? Course. Absolutely. Um, but thank you. You know, uh, for, from a guy who plays in the club and on the radio, mm-hmm. thank you for giving us so much heat to play this year. And honestly, the last three or four years, yeah, uh, yeah. them dudes have really been driving the sound and they deserve everything that's ahead of them. That's right. Um, yeah, man. So, oh, one more thing before we get out of here. Yeah. And congratulations to all the other nominees. I yeah. mean, Chris Brown yep. got some great nominations. Three, I believe. Yeah, yeah three. Yeah. Uh, Drake's in there. That's right. Uh, and, and, and of course, Beyonce's in there as well. What's the word with Drake and, and Diddy? That really went down. 
down, right? Yo, dude, when I first saw that start to break online, yeah. I, I thought that was bullshit. I thought you people started were, seeing like tweets about it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, me too. I was like, oh, here they go, just revving this up, yeah, especially yeah. after the, you know the controversy that was happening last week between Chris Brown and Karuchi right. and how Drake's name got thrown in there. But I guess that's real. I guess that's real. Yeah. I guess it was some like Diddy was holding on to that, and he was like, next time I see, dude, it's on. I guess. I mean. This is unfucking believable to wow, me, man. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, I saw a video was released on TMZ of Diddy on stage. Of Diddy on yeah. stage from earlier in the year, basically saying that uh, Drake had stole zero to a hundred from him. That shit, I had never heard this story before, and That's and crazy. And I guess him and Diddy and Drake and Diddy got into an altercation and live in Miami on Sunday and. Shit, man. I don't like hearing stuff like that, man. Yeah. And I thought they were tight, but I guess, you know, yeah. things, things, uh. And you would think Diddy wouldn't have to do all that. I know. know? Yeah. It but. shows that, you know, he's, 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 we know he's extremely passionate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he still um, gives a shit. Yo, oh, yeah. Still cares, oh, you definitely. Know? Um, yeah, man. I hope that gets resolved quick. And, uh, I, I never like hearing stuff like that when it comes to two artists who mean so much to the culture. Any artist in general. Sure, sure, yeah. People in general. I don't promote that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, man. But nonetheless, everyone's talking about it, and it's like we have to talk about it. There you it know, is, yeah. I couldn't help but like read every comment on Instagram. You just get caught up. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, we're all into when the video dropped today of Diddy on stage Shit. saying, "Yo, like, yeah, th this was my beat." Crazy. Yeah, you, I never you gotta that. watch it. You gotta watch so, it. It's like a car wreck. You I know. Turn your yeah, head, you can't. You, know? you can't turn it off. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. So that's the leaks of the week. Do me a favor. Drop me some lines below on on a few things. I want to yeah. know how you felt about YG not getting nominated right. for any Grammys. Um, I want to know. Believe it or not, there's people out there that believe he shouldn't have been nominated. Well, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, listen. Childish Gambino's in that category. Yeah. Schoolboy Q's in that category. Right. That's somebody's favorite album out there. So Absolutely. I love to hear what you think about that. Um, also, uh, let us know what you think about the three leaks of the week this week. How yeah. you feeling about Cole's album? I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, interested to see how everybody felt about the complete body of work now that it was released um and and what songs are you feeling there's some that we're missing there's some that Cruz and i haven't heard yet let so us know let us know what's hot out there right now and uh yeah man we appreciate you watching the leaks of the week and uh we'll do this again next week with new music talk special thanks to robert wayne footwear and doc martin